Hi, my name is Natalia. Welcome everyone to our first episode of Concierge Chronicles. So guys, here we're going to explore the latest trends and opportunities in the world of the real estate. Join us today, Mr. Ian, a seasoned real estate expert with extensive knowledge of Dubai real estate. Welcome, Mr. Ian. Hi, Natalia. It's very nice to meet you nice and thank you for inviting me. Thank you. Kick things off, Mr. Ian. Could you give our viewers an insight of the current state of the Dubai real estate market? Mm, surely. Um, the market at the moment is as buoyant as it's ever been. Uh, I've been here for 20 years now and uh, I've seen some peaks and troughs in the market. Um, but at the moment, I have to say, there's a lot of buyers coming from a lot of countries. So we're experiencing a really, really buoyant market. It's very, very good. And the developers are producing some amazingly different developments nowadays, taking in smart technology and those sort of uh, advancements that are really making this market sensationally good. For our viewers who might be interested in investing, what are the investment key opportunities in Dubai real estate market? Well, they're varied. They're varied. It depends on what type of investor you are. At the high end, we're getting some really, really big, big hitters in with some serious investment. And we also not only offer the high end investments, but the mid, mid level investments and even starter investments. Um, a lot of the developers are offering great returns on investment which means that you might get a, when the property is completed or even before, you're getting a guaranteed return on your money, um, which is very, very attractive to uh, investors. And if they're looking for capital appreciation, we've seen the market increase exponentially over the course of the last two or three years. And at the moment, there is no abating it. It seems like it's going to carry on. Um, the prices are, are creeping up along with the rental return. So at the moment, it's looking a very, very, very good market and uh, we can cater for any particular investor, either a high end or mid sector or the lower end. That was great, but which communities do you recommend to invest and why? That's a really good question. Um, as I said a little bit earlier, the, the levels of investment dictate which communities uh, an investor will go to. Um, for example, if you're looking to invest in high end villas, you would go to the usual suspects of Palm Jumeirah, uh, Dubai Hills and uh, those sort of areas where you've got high-end villas. I, uh, at the moment, am really looking towards Dubai South. I think that's the next big thing in Dubai. You've got a level of low level of um, commitment. The, the, the capital values are low. It's an area, if you know, out the other side of uh, DWC, Dubai World Central Airport. Um, which will become the main airport of Dubai eventually. And there's going to be huge amounts of investment opportunities there. So I really do think Dubai South is, is the way, is where to go in the future. Great, Mr. Ian. Uh, so investors often consider the regulatory environment. Mm -hmm. How friendly is Dubai for real estate uh, investors? Well, it's, it's changed over the years. Um, when I first came here, it was, uh, there, were no, there was no RERA, there was no regulatory agency at all. Um, and that was brought in to protect the investor's money. We didn't have escrow in the early years, so escrow was brought in so that investors can put their money into escrow before it goes to the developers. So there have been a lot of changes over the years. Uh, and the land department and RERA together are always evolving and always trying to find ways where um, the money that's coming in from overseas, most buyers are expat, most buyers are investors in some way, whether they're buying for their own occupation or they're buying just purely to get a return on investment. They, we have to protect their money, okay? And that has changed dramatically. Now, I think it's as good as it's gonna get. Um, the, reg the regulations in, in, in play are very stringent and um, I think it works. And I think there's a, we've, we've gone a long way. All right. Expo 2020 has been a major milestone of Dubai. How has this global event influenced the real estate market and do you see any impacts? Certainly. I mean, Expo 2020, uh, although it was delayed for a year, was an e a massive global event that put Dubai on the map. There's no doubt about it. And we had many, many millions of invest uh, people coming to see the event. Um, some of those were investors. Some of those were people that went back to their countries and told their friends about Dubai. So I think it was, it was an immense event. And um, 
put, really did put Dubai on the map. In terms of its impact in the future, I think we've had an impact from it. I really think it's, it's done a great job. Um, is it going to make the Dubai property market any more stable? I think it probably is. So I think it's had a lasting effect and will do for a while. And also, you know, unlike most other countries, Dubai is using the Expo site to progress and do things on the side as well. You know, a lot of them, they just go and they leave it like a white elephant. But here, Dubai are using that and that's where Dubai South comes from. And that's where I think is the next big thing. As we all know, no market is without its challenges. What are some of the challenges and uh, potential risks that investors should be aware of the entire Dubai's real estate market? Another good question and it's something that we have to look back at um, and see how the market has performed over, over the past. You know, in 2007, when we had the 2008, when we had the worldwide crash, we didn't think we were going to be suffered by that, suffer that under that uh, that crash that happened in America. Um, but we did. We lost 50% of our value overnight. So we are not immune to um, fluctuations in the world market, um, and we have to uh, be aware of what is going on. At the end of the day, um, you know, there's, a, there's an old Latin saying called caveat emptor, where, which means buyer beware. Whenever you buy a property or whenever you buy something, you have to do due diligence on it and you have to be comfortable in your purchase. And that's no different in real estate or buying shoes in a shop or buying a car. You have to know what, you, what you're buying and it's up to you whether you buy it. What you can do is mitigate risks by asking professionals what they think about it, what they think the potential is in the future, and whether there are going to be any downsides. I can't sit here and say there's not going to be a downside, because there will be at some point. But if you buy over a longer period, then you're probably going to mitigate any downturn in the market, and you'll come out making, you know, increasing your equity in any property you buy. And there you have it, guys. Thank you, Mr. Ian, for coming and uh, for sharing with us your expertise for today. Well, you're very welcome. And I really hope that the uh, viewers and listeners can um, understand some of those questions. They were good questions. I think they were insightful into the market. And I'm sure if you use Property Concierge as your, your agent, that you will get the best, best advice. Thank you. Stay tuned, guys, and see you in next episode of Concierge Chronicles. So you heard Mr. Ian, guys. If you're looking for investment, contact Property Concierge Real Estate. To our viewers, we hope you found this episode insightful. Hope to see you guys in next episode of Concierge Chronicles.